Hello, attractive and well-educated watchers, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Sorry about what this, how we uh, can't just start right over again. Last time, we uh, found some serious sound problems in the game, so we had to restart and do our video over again. So last time, we got enough iron to get a bar of iron, which is nice. Uh, that probably means we'll be able to upgrade a pickaxe or our axe or something. Uh, first, however, we're going to want to... Jeez, this this whole entire thing. We, we have got to... Got to do something about this. <laughs> um... Oh, jeez, whoops. Yeah, we gotta do something about this, guys. One moment. So, this, for the record, is why you always have a properly organized and reasonable inventory. Like, we don't. Because that's a thing that every farmer needs to know. Where's your stuff? Where are you keeping all of your good shit? And where are your tools? and how to properly arrange them in your inventory. So learn from us, and don't be like us. There you go. Um, you'll do for now. We'll just literally throw everything. We, we don't, we don't know if we Whatever, it's it's cool. Actually, we know for a fact where you guys go. We'll keep the cave carrots around with us because they're delicious in times of need. And I mean, whatever. And then we'll put Was that this one? It is this one. Okay. Yes. Yes, here's our mining thingy. Do we need five iron bars to upgrade a thing? If we need five iron bars to upgrade a thing, that's going to be a little concerning. But we'll still do it. And we have a letter. Let's check it out, guys. Dab and Dag, how are things going? You must really like making a fortune. be making a fortune on that farm. Don't forget your dear old mother when you're a millionaire. <gasps> She sent us a cake. Oh, mom. Just the best. Oh, geez. That, that fills us with pride for this day. Today is going to be a good day. We didn't even check the uh, weather forecast or anything like that. We're just going straight into town. Uh, nobody cares about the squid right now. We mean, we might. We might care about a squid later. We just don't care about a squid right now. We're, we're too stoked. Our mom sent us a cake. Oh, it's Linus's birthday, isn't it? Ooh, shit, son. Bringing you some corn, boy. Actually, Linus likes salmon berries more. I'm gonna try that one out. Nice. We, we love the Christmas display everywhere. It's really cathartic walking through this already super cathartic game. Alright, Linus. Are you in your home? You are. Happy birthday, buddy. Yeah! Linus is, Linus is great. He's, he's just a great guy. Look at him. Oh yeah, we're, we're totally going for Penny at some point also. Hey, can we... Can we? Okay, fair enough. We guess our uh, gift tally meter is all wonky, too, or something. That's fine. Ah, uh, no, Scythe, come back. Always switch to your Scythe, because it uses zero energy to use. So if you accidentally use it, it's one of the fastest tools to use, and it doesn't use any of your energy, making sure that you can do other things later in your day. La la la. 
Later on, we'll go check out the quarry for you guys, because that was our accomplishment of last time. We found the quarry. But for now, let's pay this lazy fat guy to break all of our rocks. This geode. Nice. That looks, that looks very swanky. And this geode. I mean, that, that looks pretty cool. And this geode, we don't know what that is, but it also looks very swanky. Um, since we're right next to this place, we can... Ooh, it's Penny! Yay, Penny! We love Penny. Penny's one of our... We're going to marry Penny in this just so that she can move out away from her abusive alcoholic mother. <laughs> that is that is, that is the, the pure goal right there. Uh, let's just push up there. No, you're not exactly a fossil, or actually, oh, I'll just do that. Um, is that it? We can keep the geode. Nice. We're super down with keeping the geode. All right, Penny, let's talk to you today. Yeah, we can believe it. You're pretty pathetic, but that's why we're marrying you, so you can have purpose in your life. And hey, kid, how's it going? You want to look for bugs? Uh, well, we don't have any bugs, but how about we give you an ear of corn? No? Okay, well, you can go to hell then, child. Everybody loves corn. Uh, see? Here, we're going to give Clint some corn. Bam! This is a fun gift! Thank you! See? Clint appreciates the gift of corn. He's probably one of our least talked to guys here, but... You know what, the farmer just came by and gave him some corn. Can't say no to that. All right, all right, all right. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, yes. But we don't have enough. What do we have enough of? We can make a steel axe or a steel pickaxe. We honestly think we want the steel pickaxe at this point. Thanks. You'll get started. That's good. We're cool with this. Hello, little girl. Maybe... Maybe children do not like ears of corn. Maybe they don't like sweet berries, either. Well, f screw those children. We're gonna go fishing. A bait and everything. What do you got? Well, that wasn't terribly exciting. Uh, is it boring to be a farmer during winter? No. We... What? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> we don't know what you're supposed to... You're supposed to eat it, Abigail. What else do you think you're supposed to do with that kind of thing? A book of knowledge. And a nautilus shell. And some more worms. And some more worms. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. Because that means that we can... Oh, jeez, you know what we didn't do today? We didn't water our crops. We feel uber... No, wait, we did. We did water our crops. Okay, we don't feel as uber negligent anymore. Because if we did neglect to water our crops, that would be no bueno. Right now, we're just collecting extra swag to sell and get a little bit of money with. Always go on your little circuit, know your circuit, get your books of knowledge. Yes. Clay is pretty good later on we hear, but we haven't used it for anything. Uh, while we're at it, we might as well take a chance to do some ocean fishing. Um, the best places we hear are around this area, in the deeper water next to and in the middle of the pier, and we find it pretty much to our liking. So, what happens is you wait there until you get a bloop bloop, and then you click, like so. And then, you try to keep that fish in the green zone. You click on your left button, and uh, you gradually stay with it. It's just a sardine, so it's not very much. We'll try to get another fish and show you a more difficult thing. Maybe see what you uh, have to deal with in your future. 
Yeah, this is a more difficult looking fish, maybe. Yeah. Uh, it will bounce on the bottom. You don't want that. Yeah, we got a tuna, a 61 inch tuna. That's that's pretty good. That's like a human sized tuna. Bring that back. We'll sell that. Unless it's a gold. It is a gold. Okay, we tend to keep gold fish in our freezer. Um, it's just. You'd be amazed at the kind of stuff people leave. Just uh, don't even, you know. All right, well, we're going to head on back. We are going to uh, water... No, we did already water our crops. Actually, we're going to see if we can make any more cool farmy stuff. Uh, so, let's look at our craft menu. If you are good enough, you can get winter seeds. Huh? weird. Uh, wild seeds for the winter. You need one winter root, one crystal fruit, one snow yam, and one crocus. We actually don't believe that we have a crystal fruit right now, uh, but that's fine. In the meantime, we're going to go over here. We're going to throw away everything that isn't really, really cool, or at least pretty close to really, really cool. Uh, that's going to just get us a little bit of money. Also going to toss these. We don't know how much they're worth, but never throw away mom's pink cake. Oh my god, look at it. It's so amazing. Okay, okay, okay. Let's. We're moving on now. Go over, throw your clay and your cave carrots and your algae sludge and all these things. Oh. Okay. We can dig it. Doink. How many copper bars do we have? Not enough is the answer. Not nearly enough. Nice. Uh, we can deal with that. Now go to your fridge. If you have a fridge. We actually would recommend that you get a fridge. Do we have a monster tuna already? Hmm. If you have a monster tuna, you can just sell your other monster tunas. Nope. Nope. Yes. Okay. We have a lot of tuna. Or a lot of uh, fish. Who's a good boy? Okay. So, we think the most logical thing at this point to do would just be to run off and forage and or fish. So, at this particular case... Oh! No, no, we pulled a dumb. We can't check out the quarry. Well, that's not true. We can check out the quarry. We're going to go up and check out the quarry for you guys. Maybe do some... Um, dumpster diving. Sometimes you get good stuff out of there. And these houses, they uh, throw away the darndest things. I'll tell you what. It's 420, blaze up. <laughs> no. <coughs> so we're going to go check out the quarry. Because we've never seen it before, at least not personally. We've seen it on DF's videos, but nothing else. And this will have marked something that we have done on our lonesome by ourselves. Gonna go and enjoy our the spoils of our whatever you want to call it. We've repaired the bridge. Wow, and there is indeed a lot of stuff in here. Now, we can't access any of it right now because we don't have a functioning pickaxe. But suffice to say, we don't know what that is, and we're going to find out in a later episode. Looks like we've got some gold, lots of iron, maybe an uh, iridium? Uh, 
definitely tons of copper. And tons of just regular rocks, so it could definitely be worse. Once we get our uh, wonderful steel pickaxe, we'll be able to chew away at that place without any of the dangers of the mines. In the meantime, it's starting to get late. Let's say hello to Robin. The quarry bridge completely repaired. It's a miracle of woodworking. Yeah, she would totally freak out about that, too, come to think of it. Alright, well, we're going to do some night fishing. See if we can't get that squid. Because Willie wants a squid. Doesn't tell us, you know, it's just a challenge for us. He doesn't tell us what it's for or anything like that. Oh, hey, Penny, how's it going? Yeah, well, you know, that's true of anybody, but you don't gotta let it go to your head or nothing. It's... You know... Except for us. We're Farmer Dab and Dag, and, you know, we kinda do anything we want. But that's fine, Penny. That's fine. Don't don't let it get you down. We gotta go. We hear out right next to this rock is really good, but we don't know. Well, maybe. Alambia, you're probably not a squid. You don't feel like a squid. We'll take a halibut any day. Halibut are nice. You can make fish and chips out of those. Love fish and chips. Oh, it's a tougher. It's a tougher. What do we got here, guys? What do you think? We're using an iridium rod, so it's not going to get away from us. Oh, it's just a really mean halibut? That was kind of anticlimactic. Lame. Alright, come on. Yeah, hit it. Oh. That was probably a super cucumber. A shame, but some get away. See, this is the kind of stuff you'll have to be dealing with in your time. This seems like another halibut. They have patterns of movement that decide uh, each fish. Some fish are much more difficult. Oh, this is a long, thin ice devil. Well, we don't know what that is, but that sounds super cool, and we're going to keep it. It is not going in the, uh, in the box tonight. Come on. A herring. What can we just chuck into our uh, bucket tonight? When you do this kind of stuff, it, it can be incredibly profitable. Really profitable. Nice. An albacore. So another tuna. Just a different tuna. Alright. That's actually one of the reasons why Farmer Dab and Dag has as much money as they do. Long, thin ice devil. What do you think that is? A long, thin ice devil. That's the kind of fish that we feel like we'd want to have in, like, in our vivarium or something. In our fish tank. Ah, darn. Twitchy finger. Oh, we're ready. Our body is ready. Another albacore. Halibut. Uh, halibut. No squid yet. Just trying to get that squid. He says, find him at night. But all we're pulling in is different types of tuna. And white fish. And this weird long devil. Whatever. Long fin devil fish or whatever. What are you? You're an interesting fish. Oh, we 
you gotcha. It's a squid! Willie, you will have your squid. Congratulations. It was kind of difficult. But we got it. This will be our last fish. And we're going to run back, do our little procedure, and we will bid you guys adieu. That's probably another squid. Sweet. We got a squid for ourselves and a squid for Willie. Now that is what that's what we're talking about, guys. That's really where it's at. Everybody leaves happy. And we love how the squids have little like surprised faces on them. They're like, "Oh no, I just got caught." I'm like, yeah, you just got caught. Oh, Marnie, you're looking wonderful tonight as usual. Give him Adzuki Bean. He might not forgive you, though. Really? Wow. Uh, well, how about... Okay, well, screw both of you. Jeez, we love that Marnie and Lewis are so obviously getting it on together all of the time, but they are so uncertain about it and terrified that anybody will find out. It's like, dude, we all know. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody. The entire town knows. Everybody knows that you do it with Marnie. Like, on the regs. It's a thing. We all get it. Nobody judges you. You know? Uh, yeah, that's, that's cool with us. Yeah. Nobody's judging you guys. You're, you're successful adults. Do whatever you want. Nobody cares. Alright, we gotta... Switch them out a little. Do we have a herring in here? We don't have a herring, but we do have some green algae. We're definitely putting our long, long fin ice devil in here before we put a herring in here, though. What do we got next? A snail. An official cap. Alright. So now we're going to sell off those catfish that catfish and uh, we think for now that's it we're gonna see if we can't plop in some stuff here nothing successful there well this one has room we guess. So let's just plop what we can in there and be done with it. Alright guys, remember always to pet your dog if you haven't. Pick out your copper bar and have a great night. It automatically saves for you. Let's see what we got from all of our foraging. Fishing's a little slim tonight, but that's fine. We like that we had a little um, a little shooting stars in the background on occasion. Uh, you will occasionally see cool things like that here. Uh, other than that, we think that it's been perfectly good. We think this has been a great episode. Uh, we've showed you some things. Next, or in a couple episodes, we will get our, uh, our pick back, and we'll be able to go to town on that quarry. Until then, just have to see what happens then. We don't know. Have a great night. Remember that we have daily public articles on Patreon for those who like to read. Uh, and other than that, you know, remember to subscribe if you already haven't. That one's slightly different colored. Huh. Can we click on it? No. No. Okay. Have a great night, guys.